It used to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Alex? Hey, still with us? You haven't said I can watch the hypnotic rolling of the waves and listen to you at the same time. Oh, okay. What did I say? Little Miss, I can see and hear things at the same time. The cookies are great on Edwards Island. Used to be great, but you passed. Thank you. So you all moved in? Um, not, not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a, you know, actually, I'm not even going to tell this story. It's really not worth it. No, wait, what happened? I feel like I haven't heard this. He got lost in some gardens, and he thought she worked there, and blah, 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 they hit it off. Aw, that's downright adorable. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um, I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so... And what does that make you to her, then? A, uh, second cousin? I don't know how people math work. Uh, he's just a guy? What else would he be? No, but isn't there, like, a term for it? Um, step-brother, technically. Oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush. Wearing your clothes. Yeah, sure, whatever. I have someone to reach the food on the top shelf now. Just happy to be on the team. So... How do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic. Grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both looked like little skinned potato blobs. <laughs> Ugh, it's so creepy now to think about. Why? We were babies. It's funny, that's all. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. Uh, wait, who's talking right now? It's a recording. They always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like the before shot. They're on their way. Yeah, let's do it. And it's Jonas? Not Jonah? Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk? Right, patient zero, AIDS guy. It's, um, biblical, right? Or is that the lion guy? I think every name's biblical, so... Probably. Here's good. There, great. I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. Hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? Yeah, of course. Perfect. Can you pull it out a second? There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about our thing. So tune it to 88.3 so I can tell her we heard it. Which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh. Oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach, or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. <laughs> That's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see.
Smell that clean air, boys and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. <laughs> yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. Oh, uh, no thanks. I don't smoke. The last time I had one, it didn't go well. Yeah, no, I didn't know what coughing with your whole body meant until I saw you dry heaving. <laughs> okay, just checking. All right, my other friend should be up and around the bed. Actually, that... I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren, can you do me a favor? Can I have, like, two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends. Uh, really? Just... Wait, is, is something wrong? What is it? Nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. It'll just take two minutes, super fast. All right, bud. <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're gonna have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... We're all gonna meet up... No, it's... it's fine, Ren. Go on up ahead and we'll catch up with you. Um, okay. I guess. Though this is a really strange way to start off, splitting up. It'll be fast. Thanks, man. I'll just be up the hill, in case... Whatever. Ren seems nice. He's funny, you know? Reminds me of a guy I know back home. I don't know. He sometimes gets on my nerves. Listen, I just wanted to grab you ahead of time and say you've been cool about everything. And I guess it's just... When the flag is flying, we are... funning. Um, I think it's supposed to say running. Oh. Oh, and thanks for setting up the attic for me. It's cool how it's like a little bedroom. I was in the basement at my old house, so this... Yeah, no problem. Anytime. I heard, um, I think from my mom that you, uh... Went to jail? Yeah, well... Don't believe everything you hear. We can catch back up with Ren now. I didn't mean to take so long. Kinda of kitschy, right? It's kinda of kitschy? Yeah, it's like a quiche. Uh, I think they blocked this off at night since nobody needs to use it. Or maybe they just had a parade? Sure, either one. Uh, if nobody lives here and the stores are all closed, whose car is this? Oh, there's always that one lonely car in every parking lot. Ah, oh, I forgot this was even here. It's a monument to some submarine that was sunk off the coast. Oh, do the, the, um, the radio guide thing they talked about on the boat, you know? It's what, but 102.3? I just want to see how it works. Uh, okay, sure. I think they said it's 102.3. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15th, 1941, and commissioned into service at the end of that year. I've never heard of this before. Kind of creepy in a way, right? Yeah. I hate thinking about it. It reminds me of those scenes in movies where the sailors have to seal somebody up to drown or else the flooding will take the whole ship, you know? Yeah, no, I always thought submarine duty was like the worst possible war assignment. There's nowhere to go if something goes wrong. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Canelope. Parks and Facilities Office. Friend's sister Allison used to work there. You'd like her. She's tall. Um, all right. Man, they close up early. I guess no point in staying open if nobody's here. Well, we're here. Maybe I want to buy an ornament or something. Hello, kids. Look, the other guys and gals must be further up, so be quick now. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. We are here to drink and be stupid, a tradition apparently started by bored recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. 
They literally called it trawling. Uh huh. Wait, how'd they pull that? Isn't like security an important thing in military bases? Yes, but apparently the desire to have cheap sex with floozies will overcome all borders. It's the American way. So the beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think Jerry told me that there's a way that you used to get over there, but I'm blanking on what it was. But it's not. I mean, it can't be too difficult. Well, look, there must be something. I mean, Jerry got over. Yeah, exactly. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark. The town is shut down, and we, the Kamina High Junior Class, have come to commit improper acts. And the other thing is the Weirdo Caves. Weirdo Caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the... It's like the front. The mouth. The mouth of this particular cave, you can sometimes pick up frequencies to stations that don't exist. You'll hear voices or just sounds. No, there must be some kind of logical explanation. Like, like the rocks are somehow able to conduct lower frequencies or pick up broadcasts from further away or something. Or it's aliens. So back up a second. Who's Mrs. Adler? Her family, I think, like owns or owned some of the island or something. She's been shacked in the same spot for like 70 years. She's kind of what you call the local legend. She has a house on the other side of the woods. Man, that woman won the life lottery. 70 years of sleeping with the window open and smelling the ocean. You'd be okay with never leaving. Never leaving. Just there. All the time. Yeah? Why wouldn't I be? If you're happy, you're happy. Why would you move? Yeah. Why would you? Jonas, did you know that a little birdie told me that our Alex here is thinking of going out of state to college? Oh, really? Yeah, so... Alright, so what if I am? I don't know. So what if you are? I guess it's nothing. No big deal. I just... If you are thinking of leaving, I just hope you're doing it for the right reasons. That's all. That's my whole spiel. What the hell does that mean? Nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Do what you want. Forget I said anything. Thanks so much for bringing me out, you guys. I can tell I'm gonna have a really good time. We, um... We don't normally bicker so much. Yes, normally I just agree with whatever she says. So this is unusual. I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll... budge. Well, let's try it. Before we get there, I should I should probably mention that. <laughs> oh god. Who's that? That's so there's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me. So just, you know, j just be cool, okay? No pouting or complaining or anything, all right? Deal? Why wouldn't I? Don't be like just how you can be sometimes. Oh, and okay, Jonas, now that we're dumpster buddies, what was the thing that you said to Alex back there? Do you have one of those vestigial tails or something? Uh, it was nothing, really. Just leave it alone, Ren. Oh, Reginald, I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying... I was about to tell a story. What was it? About Brad's car. Oh, well, that can wait. Hey. We started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so... Uh, yeah. Everyone, this is Jonas. Jonas? Everyone. Hey. Hi. And Jonas, that's... Who are you again? Jonas. Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as the daisy stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. It's a trip, right? Uh, yep. Yeah, this is his first night here, so everybody be on your best behavior. Treat him as you would a scary dog. Palms out. <laughs> That's, um, I don't bite. It's fine. Wait, 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 wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. Um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but are she's... you her stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? Um... My mom married his dad, so family, law, and all. 
Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... <sighs> Where is everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. And? There's nobody else coming. We're it. What? Clarissa, we... <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? <laughs> That's it. That's who you brought. That's the group. Clarissa, come on. Don't be mean. This is supposed to be fun. <laughs> Who said I'm not having any fun? I'm having fun. This is like friggin' Candyland right now. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. And you I just met. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what about me? What about you? Oh, I get it. I'm not even on the spectrum. You see, Jonas, normally this is like a 20-deep rager, but Pat had a party last weekend, and... And a bunch of kids got caught TPing the school. But this is great, right? We're on Edwards Island. Forget those losers who couldn't handle the weekend, who didn't think we could make it, who lost my invitation, who had to go Faster. on there. We've been hearing about this for years, and now we're going to do it. This is going to be amazing, right? Right, guys? Yay! Awesomeness! Yeah! Fire! Man's great equalizer. So, what's the, um, what's the, like, thing to do here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. We should explore the island. I mean, if this is pretty much a one-time thing, we shouldn't waste it. Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Hey, we could go see her house. It must be huge. She was rich as No, a we can't see her house. There's a giant fence, and I don't want to tear my jeans trying to climb it. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. And sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. Ease him into the night's festivities. Isn't it a uh, truth or dare? This is better than truth or dare because nobody ends up licking somebody's butthole. You get asked a question. You have to tell the truth, but if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. It's a good, uh, getting to know somebody game. Unless you lie a lot. Then it's just a good hitting game. Uh, how can you prove that somebody lied? Hearsay, rumor, conjecture, the usual. All right, let's just get on with it. Okay, so, first, we're gonna... I'll start. Ren. Uh-huh. Come on, fess up. You want to go out with Nona, right? Clarissa! Wait, wait, wait. I want to hear his answer. Oh. oh, man. You're good at this. Well, if being good means being kind of mean about it. Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something mm -hmm. like... Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the goods. Now no. just face it. I mean, I, I, I like her as a friend, right? That's... I just like her as a friend. That's... That's all. She's cool. She's... She's just a friend. All right. Great. Let's just move on. Okay, it's Ren's turn, right? He gets to ask somebody something. Alex, Alex, Alex! <laughs> Uh-oh. I just have to think about which nerve I want to so delicately pinch. Oh, please. Shoot, I can take it. Okay. Mary, screw, kill. Me, Nona, and Clarissa. Why? What? It's fun. It's funny, I don't know. And Jonas is family now, technically. So he's excluded. Why, thank you. I'd probably marry Clarissa. Okay, <laughs> why, right there. I mean, why in God's name would you marry me, of all people? What? You're a catch! Redheads are like the rarest breed! She's not a horse. Yeah, oh, let's... Oh, well, you can dust the top of my trophy case when I don't want to drag out the step stool. Ugh, whatever, who cares? <laughs> okay, you're going down the line. Who'd you do the dirty with? Nona. She seems like she'd be present and giving, unlike some people here. Hey, I'm present! I wouldn't lose my place or nothing! Scout's honor! Ugh, God, this is such a horrible turn. And wait, wait, that means you'd kill me?! Out of everyone here, you're hey, best- Hey, you wanted to know. And I'm the only guy. This is Miss Andrew. Miss Andrew, I said. Okay, settle down. So, Alex's turn? Yep, lady's choice. Alex gets to pick who to ask something of. Oh, great, here we go. What's your favorite stuffed animal? Professor Snodgrass, the- Clarissa. Oh, boy. Yes, Mum? This is pretty fun just watching, I'll admit. Well, wait. What's your worst fear? That Santa Claus is really coming to town. Seriously? 
dying with too many regrets, probably? I don't know. That seems reasonable. I kind of get that, actually. Yeah, we're practically sisters. I can feel it. Clarissa's turn now. Alex, you got a new brother. Pretty exciting. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe... Excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. I'm, um... Is there, like, a question coming, or what? I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably going to get divorced again. And the fact is, your mom divorced your dad. So let's put his mind at ease and hear why. I, I don't I don't really need Okay, to... just get to whatever point this is getting to. The point is, why'd your parents get a divorce? Just so Jonas can hear it from you. Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce. Just that Alex... You is... know why. Michael died and it broke everything and they couldn't handle it the end well now you know jonas don't die and everything will be fine okay clarissa you what you know guys honestly i think i'm pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game wait let's let's not stop like this we should like... game's over ren i won and to celebrate i'm gonna sit on the beach and drink and maybe if i'm feeling spicy even take a nap maybe we could and get... that's exactly what nona's gonna do too Man, what is your problem, Clarissa? Just what did we... What did I do to make you act like I ate the last piece of chocolate cake on your flippin' birthday? Nothing, Alex. You did absolutely nothing. Cheese! If you guys in your scavenger hunt or playing Ring Around the Rosy happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish, you be sure to just let me know. Super. Sure, we'll grab ya if we find any, um... Island Bigfoots? Island Bigfoots. Exactly. Well, I want to inaugurate this bitch by checking out the caves. Nona, want to come? Uh, I mean, I would. I'm very but... clingy, Ren. <sighs> Fine. Jonas, you're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? Well, like I said, you're a strapping young lad. Okay, come on. Where are you from again? It's a small town near North Valley. Oh, yeah. Is it nice? If you like bars on the windows. Alex, you want to check out the caves, or...? Yeah, let's do it. Boost me up? Yeah, come on. Come on, <laughs> I'll push you over. Oh, oh, I forgot. Whenever you talked you're about ready. John. Oh, what, their date? Yeah, he, Unless uh, I get a crank in my back, which... Carnival? <laughs> How do you even get Jenny out of the house? <laughs> I don't know. So, the cave. What's your bets? On a scale of 1 to 10, how weird's it gonna be? It's Ren, so definitely 10. He gets excited easily, but he has the concentration of a goldfish. The fact that he keeps demanding we see it must mean something. <laughs> all right. Hey, Chris seems to be her normal annoying self. Sorry about that. Yeah, what's her deal anyway? I don't know. That woman's perpetually on her period. Ugh. Gwen, I'm standing right here. Oh, you know, I keep forgetting you're a girl. Thanks for, uh, not ratting me out to Nona during the, uh, the game. I didn't think you would, but, you know, you could've and you didn't, so thanks. Well, you can make the checks out to cash. We'll have an installment plan. Whatever it takes. Now, who's ready to have their minds blown? If you don't mean that literally, I am... Just get on with it. What do I do? Oh, wait. Actually, I almost forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. Those look like brownies. Brownie Town. No. Magic? What does that mean? It means they're enhanced with certain qualities. Hmm. Well, maybe just don't eat too much. No promises. Hmm. Delicious. Okay, so see these little piles of rocks? The kids before us always leave them here, so you know where to try and tune in the signals. So you're going to want to stand basically right around here. And just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. How will we know when it's... You'll know. Trust me. Holy crap! Wow, 
it's even cooler than I thought it would be. This is insane. What is it? What's doing it? Maybe the tuning's like unblocking a weather balloon or something? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Well, it's just crazy, then, because I don't know. If you move around, it kind of changes, too, I think. Like, over at this pile. Here, come over here and try it. This is so cool. I know! Clarissa and Nona should see this, right? I mean, I know it's like weird with you guys or whatever for some reason, but... They... they're fine where they are. Okay, just what is Clarissa's issue with you two? She dated Michael for five seconds like three years ago. It was for a couple of months a year and a half ago. Whatever, she never liked me. Not even then. I was always the little sister who got in the way, who she had to climb in through windows to sneak around. Clarissa's the kind of person who doesn't feel full unless she's pissed at somebody, so... Whew. Brownies are kicking in. Did that make sense? Are you... okay? I think so. Now, there's another cool spot, I think, over here. If you want to bring it on over... Sounds so. Yeah, it sounds. Uh. It sounds. like painful. Yeah. Wait, what was that? There's like. This is gonna sound stupid, but there's like something in here. Famous last words. Famous last. No, I see it too. I'm sure there is something in there. Like. A giant rabies-filled bat, or a maniac who wears mannequin wigs. Or it kind of looks like a pool or something. Like a freshwater one, maybe. Let's check it out. It's not that far in. <laughs> oh boy. If it's a pool, that'd be cool. I, um, didn't mean that to rhyme. <laughs> cool pool. Fortune favors the bold. <laughs> Bye. Wait a minute! Jonas! Well, I am going to just rest against here, because I think, shh, I think I mismeasured the magic. bring an ashtray down here or a pen see 
a man about a dog. Sure, will do. Are you okay? <sighs> Jesus, you scared me. I'm sorry for going ahead. I thought... I thought I heard somebody down here, but... You know, obviously there isn't. But isn't this place incredible? I mean, I don't even know how this... how this happens. No, it's... Uh, it's beautiful. See? That's what I heard. It sounds like a person almost, right? Kinda? I don't know where it's coming from. Okay, at this point, if we stay, we're just idiots, right? We're just the horror movie morons the audience screams at to leave. <laughs> no... Maybe. <sighs> there was a light in here somewhere. I still want to see what made it. It must just be further in. Let's try and find it before we go back. Well, seeing as how I crawled in here to get you, might as well make the most of it. Yeah, and I mean, look, if it's cool, we can get the others, and if it's not, we'll just leave. Like, what is this made out of? Is it ice? I don't know. What? Wow, how is that? Did, did you see the floating, um, triangle light thing? Um, yes. It, it must be like a, like a rainbow, or like a reflection of light? Those, um, exist, right? Um, cave, triangle rainbows? Sure, why not? Let's go with that, for the time being. I think this is all tied to when you tuned in those weird signals out there and the, um, what am I trying to say? I, I think that you tuned in this little guy somehow. I think it's all the same thing. Really? You think? Definitely. Try your radio. Maybe that's like a frequency or something. Like if it'll have an effect. Yeah, good idea. Maybe it'll dance or twitch or something. Let's do it. Come on. Radio time. Alex, really? Oh my god. Is this... Are you... Is this... You? Are you doing this? Did you stop? We don't even know what that thing is. Yeah, exactly. Let's find out.
Alex? <sighs> Are you okay? You alright? I thought I... You... think so? I don't know. God. <sighs> Are you okay? Yeah, I think. Look, I'm just gonna cut to the whatever. Like, I don't know exactly what happened back there. But the sign says that's an old communications tower, and I don't know about you, but I want to climb that ladder, call somebody, and get the hell back home as fast as possible. I don't want to be the party pooper here, but the No, I'm way ahead of you. There's gotta be some kind of emergency station, or way to get out without taking the ferry. Oh, and not for nothing. I'm fine with a little deep pantsing or whatever if the weather's right for it. But if this is some sort of prank or trick, I'm really, really not in the mood. So, if it is... Christ, I'm as freaked out as you are, Jonas, alright? I have a Spartan Tower. Oh, it's called that, I think, because the radio man who watched it, he was Major Richard Harden. I don't know why I remember that. <laughs> wait, wait, the guy's name was Major Dick Harden? <laughs> that would explain why I remember it. <laughs>